tangent 50 degrees plus tangent 60 degrees plus tangent 70 degrees is equal to tangent 80 degrees. You may use the chapters below to jump to the sections of the thinking process or different parts of the detailed solutions. Hi there, welcome to my channel, Mathusiasm. Today, I want to share with you this amazing identity of tangents. Without further ado, let's get started. First of all, we're going to group two terms on the left-hand side. Let's take 50 degrees and 60 degrees. We'll see a couple of magic combinations of angles. We we'll have 50 degrees plus 60 degrees is equal to 110 degrees which is equal to 90 degrees plus 20 degrees. On the other hand, for the remaining term on the left-hand side, 70 degrees. It is equal to 90 degrees minus 20 degrees. Now, we can see that there's a common term 20 degrees. So, based on these two forms, we'll recall some trigonometric formula. For the first one, we'll have sine 90 degrees plus theta is equal to cosine theta. And for the second one, we will have cosine 90 degrees minus theta equals to sine theta. And we will apply this formula in the proof later on. Next, for the common term 20 degrees, it can be written as 2 times 10 degrees. Let's remind us the double angle formula. Sine 2 theta is equal to 2 sine theta cosine theta. And lastly, to relate 10 degrees with 80 degrees on the right hand side of the identity, we can write 10 degrees as 90 degrees minus 80 degrees. And finally, we will apply this formula sine 90 degrees minus theta equals to cosine theta. So as you can see, on the left hand side, we'll have the relationship between angles and the right hand side will have geometric formula. Lastly, you may wonder how can we start with 50 degrees plus 60 degrees at the beginning, as you will see very soon in part one of the detailed solutions. In part one of the solutions, we will combine first two fractions and simplify it. On the left-hand side of the identity, we will change tangent 50 degrees and tangent 60 degrees into the following form. So tangent 50 degrees is equal to sine 50 degrees divided by cosine 50 degrees, and tangent 60 degrees is sine 60 degrees divided by cosine 60 degrees and we keep tangent 70 degrees unchanged at this moment. So we have applied the identity tangent theta equals to sine theta over cosine theta. Next, we put the two fractions together as the following. We we'll have sine 50 degrees multiply cosine 60 degrees plus cosine 50 degrees times sine 60 degrees all over cosine 50 degrees times cosine 60 degrees plus tangent 70 degrees at the back. Next, as you can see in the numerator of the fraction, this form looks like sine A cosine B plus cosine A sine B. Using compound angle formula, we know that it can be simplified as sine bracket A plus B. Therefore, this numerator is changed to sine 50 degrees plus 60 degrees. Recall that in the thinking process, we talk about how to add up these two terms at the very beginning. Next, we we'll have cosine 50 degrees in the denominator. And now we change this cosine 60 degrees, a special angle, into one half. And you'll see the reason very soon in part two of the detailed solutions. And finally, of course, we have tangent 70 degrees. 
so for the first fraction, simplify a little bit. This is 2 sine 110 degrees over cosine 50 degrees plus tangent 70 degrees. Now we'll change 110 degrees and 50 degrees into the following form. So 2 sine over cosine. 110 degrees is changed to 90 degrees plus 20 degrees and 50 degrees is changed to 90 degrees minus 40 degrees. The reason is that for 20 and 40 degrees, they differ by a factor of 2. Later on, we can apply the double angle formula. And we also have tangent 70 degrees. So we have 2. For the numerator, it is cosine 20 degrees using the identity sine 90 degrees plus theta equals to cosine theta. And for the denominator, it is equal to sine 40 degrees using the identity cosine 90 degrees minus theta equals to sine theta. And then adding tangent 70 degrees. So we are ready for the second part of the detailed solutions. In part 2 of the detailed solutions, we will combine the remaining terms together. So we have 2 cosine 20 degrees in the numerator, and in the denominator sine 40 degrees, we are going to use the double angle formula, which is sine 2 theta equals to 2 sine theta cosine theta. By doing so, we change 40 degrees to 20 degrees. So we have 2 sine 20 degrees, cosine 20 degrees. And then add tangent 70 degrees at the back. So in the fraction, we can cancel out the 2 and cosine 20 degrees. So now the fraction is 1 over sine 20 degrees. Plus, in order to combine the two terms, we're going to change tangent 70 degrees into a fraction which is sine 70 degrees over cosine 70 degrees. So we still have 1 over sine 20 degrees plus sine 70 degrees. And then for the cosine term, we're going to change 70 degrees in terms of 20 degrees, which is 90 degrees minus 20 degrees, so that we have the common term 20 degrees in the denominator. Next, refer to this identity, cosine 90 degrees plus theta equals to sine theta, we'll have the same denominator now. So 1 over sine 20 degrees plus sine 70 degrees over sine 20 degrees. And then we get a single fraction sine 20 degrees. And in the numerator, we have sine 70 degrees plus 1. And in order to apply the trigonometric formula, we're going to change 1 into sine 90 degrees so that we have to form sine A plus sine B. And now we are ready for part 3 of the detailed solutions. In this final part of the detailed solutions, we'll see how magic happens to get tangent 80 degrees. So based on the previous step, sine A plus sine B, we have this formula, which is 2 sine bracket A plus B over 2 cosine bracket A must be over 2. So we have 2 sine 90 degrees plus 70 degrees over 2 cosine 90 degrees minus 70 degrees over 2 all over sine 20 degrees next simplify the numerator a little bit we have 2 sine 80 degrees and cosine 10 degrees 
degrees. And for the denominator sine 20 degrees, apply double angle formula again. Sine 2 theta equals to 2 sine theta cosine theta. So we change 20 degrees to 10 degrees. We we'll have 2 sine 10 degrees cosine 10 degrees. And we are so lucky that 2 cancel out, cosine 10 degrees cancel out. Next, we still have sine 80 degrees in the numerator. And in the denominator, sine 10 degrees is changed to 90 degrees minus 80 degrees. So using the identity, sine 90 degrees mass theta equals to cosine theta, we will get cosine 80 degrees. So we have sine 80 degrees over cosine 80 degrees. And this is equal to tangent 80 degrees, which is the right hand side. So this identity is proved. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give me a like, share and subscribe my channel. I'm happy to see your views in the comment section below. That's all I have for you today. I'll see you next time. Bye.